Hello and welcome. In this lecture, we will create serverless project and start implementing our handler.py file. So uh, now I will go to terminal and uh, here's the Jupyter notebook running. I'm going to second tab um, and I will clear the outputs and I'm still in the space example folder. So I will move up and go to Keras example. And now I will use SLS create command uh, template will be uh, AWS dash Python three. And the service name will be resnet 50. Enter. Okay, so uh, our boilerplate successfully generated. So uh, now I created the serverless project and now I will install serverless Python, uh, serverless Python requirements plugin. So I will type SLS plugin install uh, dash n serverless dash Python dash requirements at 4.2.4 so this is the version I prefer to use enter and uh, our plugin is installing and it says uh, successfully installed serverless python requirements 4.2.4 Okay, so now we created our serverless project and installed required plugin. And now I will go to uh, Visual Studio Code here. Um, I'm still having, uh, there are still files from uh, Spacey example, but now I will go to file, close folder, and I will open a new one, uh, which is a Keras example with uh, required files from that folder. So I will click open folder here and uh, from examples here, I will choose Keras example and select uh, or clicked. Okay. So now uh, this should open. Okay. It's here. So uh, I have uh, handler.py generated. So now I will just uh, paste the uh, imports which I prepared here. So uh, I will copy it, copy them and paste them here. Uh, you can pause the video and type it. Uh, I will save the handler.py and uh, okay, I didn't uh, select the Python uh, interpreter. So I will click here and choose um, Keras dev. So now mm, this should be okay. I will close this and uh, I will, uh, as you can see, uh, we will be, uh, we will use this unzip requirements as in previous spacey example. And now I will uh, create a couple of variables which we will need for cold start. So first we will point our class index JSON file to Keras applications because it won't be downloaded as in Jupyter notebook. So I will type Keras applications dot ImageNet underscore utils dot class index equal JSON dot load. And I will open the file which is named here. So this will be ImageNet, ImageNet underscore class underscore index dot JSON. Okay, so this will be uh, the loading. And uh, now I will create a couple of uh, global variables. So um, model underscore bucket underscore name will be equal to uh, os dot environ. So this will be actually the environment variable. 
in our serverless.yaml file, we will create and set up um, environment variables where we will use uh, those uh, bucket names and model names. So this one will be uh, model bucket name. So I will copy this. So this will be the key and uh, the environment variable name. Uh, the next uh, will be model underscore file underscore name underscore key and this will again be os dot and we run and uh, this will be again the same variable name model file name key okay and uh, next is temp underscore dir so this will be our temporary directory, which is slash t, uh, tmp. So um, we will use uh, this temp directory for model download and unzipping the requirements because it has 500 megabytes available. So that should be enough uh, inside the Lambda runtime environment. Okay, the next one is modal underscore path. And uh, this will be os.path.join and we will join temp directory and uh, our name, the name um, of our uh, model. So uh, I can use this model file name key here. Okay. And uh, next uh, I need is upload bucket name. So upload underscore bucket underscore name will be equal to os dot environ. And again, the same upload bucket name variable as a string key for that variable name. Okay, uh, now I will print for logging purposes, downloading model. Okay, and now I will download it with uh, both of three. So first I need a S3 resource. So S3 equal uh, bodo3 dot resource. And the resource name is S3. Okay. And now I will uh, type s3 dot bucket and the bucket uh, will be model bucket name. So this will be the argument for the bucket dot download file uh, download underscore uh, file and uh, the argument for that function will be uh, model file name key as a first and model path as a second argument. So we will download our model with this uh, name to this path. Okay, and I will now print, um, I will print, okay, uh, I will print load uh, loading model so when we downloaded our model from s3 bucket to temporary directory now we need we need to load it into the memory so um, s uh, okay uh, now i can type model equals resnet 50 and for weights argument, I will pass model path because this is the path where we downloaded our model. And now I will print model loaded backslash n. Okay, so uh, this is basically all for th this lecture. 
uh, we created serverless project, installed the plugin, and we started editing our handler.py file. In the next lecture, we will finish our uh, Lambda function, and uh, this will be uh, this for the handler. See you in the next lecture, and bye.